So uh, as you can see here, we have this little uh, phone icon at the top right here. Uh, if you click it, uh, you go into the menu. And uh, I'm actually just going to skip all this because I, I plan to tell you on my own. So, uh, But yeah, this is sort of your pause menu, start menu for the game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, on the left screen, we have a map of essentially of all the areas. Uh, it'll tell you where you are now. It'll tell you what chapter you're playing. We're playing day two. And uh, next to it, where you see brand chart, uh, we're going to get into that a little bit later. I'm not really going to go over it right now. Um, on the right screen, um, on the bottom here, uh, you have your current level, how much experience you need to go to the next level, and your current HP. And below that, you actually have a level gauge. Um, I can't mess with it right now because I'm only level 1. Uh, but once you get higher leveled, uh, you can actually manually lower your level. Um, and in exchange, you get higher drop rates. So uh, on the bottom right there, you see a drop rate. We have a drop rate of 1. Um, if we were say that we were level 2, uh, we could manually put ourselves back down to level 1, and instead our drop rate would increase to 2, and we would have a better chance of getting better drops or rare drops and stuff like that. So uh, that's a really cool mechanic. Uh, a lot of people seem to like it because uh, I see tons. I've seen tons of people kill themselves because they always want to be at level 1 so they can get the best stuff. It's it's pretty handy. So uh, next to the drop rate, we have money. Uh, we currently don't have any yen. Uh, because we haven't found any. Uh, I'm going to go over that in a second, but you don't you don't straight up find money. Um, we'll go over that in a second. Above that, we have the difficulty. Uh, we only have one, which is normal. Uh, you actually find these uh, later through the game, and you can change you can change them as you see fit. And then uh, next to that, we have our part. Uh, you see, it says partner um, auto middle. Uh, this is essentially how long it takes, or how long that the game will wait uh, will wait for you to not do anything before it takes over AI controlling your partner. Uh, so you can sort of set that. Um, I don't really have a problem with middle, um, just because sometimes I get distracted on the bottom screen, and I just would rather do that than mess with the top screen. So I'm going to keep it on middle for right now. Uh, so as far as our sub menus, uh, the first thing we have is items. So we're gonna go into that right quick. Now uh, we don't really have very many items right now. Uh, this is essentially your equipment. Uh, these four little slots here—you uh, can't really see them—but the, the four squares next to uh, the character portraits are, are where you equip uh, you equip accessories and stuff like that. Um, under Neku's, we have uh, our current HP. Uh, you have stats here. Attack and defense are pretty standard. Uh, bravery is, uh, uh, in order to equip an item, you have to have at least, uh, every piece of equipment has a bravery requirement that you have to have uh, met. You have to have that amount of bravery before you can equip it. And uh, as you can see here, uh, Shiki has a crap load of bravery and Neku only has a little bit. Uh, if you don't really get it, uh, it's cool. I'm going to go over it again later on. I just figured, you know, I'll go over it now, so... Um, and here at the bottom we have our items, uh, my first wallet, <laughs> which is a starting wallet, holds 99,999 yen, and not one jot more. Uh, we have CDs, you can play the music here, and we have these that we've been picking up, these little stickers here that uh, are basically abilities, and then we have all the tutorial books uh, you can read uh, if you need them to, so... Uh, as we're going to get a lot more stuff here. Uh, you get consumable items, you get equipment, uh, stuff like that. So, But for right now, it's pretty bland. So, And here we have our pin menu. And uh, this is where I go over a lot of stuff. Um, essentially, uh, we, we have right here on the right screen, all the pins that you've collected are go into your stockpile. I'm getting ahead of myself. At the top here, you have empty slots, and you equip uh, whatever pins that you want that you have currently owned into those slots, and then to use them in battle or whatever. So, because, uh, let's say, uh, I, I feel I'm going to use Shockwave and Burst Rounds, Force Rounds, because those are my two favorite pins out of the pins that we have right now. So, uh, when you click a pin, you can see its stats on the right here, you see its name, you can see its brand, that'll come later. Um, it's level. You can level pins up in battle. More on that in a second. Uh, you can see it has it has an attack of 20. 
it lasts for almost three seconds, it boots in a second and a half, reboots in five seconds, and then it has a value, it lets you know how to use the pin, uh, basically info about the pin. And uh, at the top here, you can see that we can create, uh, we have four maximum decks, um, obviously they get bigger, we have uh, these four little bolted slots that will unlock as time goes on. Uh, yeah, but uh, as I noted before, you can level pins up in battle. And uh, as pins level up, when they reach their max level, they go into what's called the mastered pile, which is kept separate from the others. And uh, this is where your key items are kept, and more importantly, where your money pins are kept. Um, as you can see here, we have two uh, 500 yen pins. So how you get money in this game is you only get money by uh, selling pins. So to sell pins, you drag them over to this trash can icon here, and you do that, and now I have a thousand yen. And uh, the yen pins are literally meant only for money, like they literally have no other purpose. Uh, but you can sell uh, any any of your pins as you collect them. And here I have to. I gotta organize my pins. Of course, I'm very OCD about it. But um, uh, so that's pretty basic. I'll go over it some more as it gets pertinent. But uh, for right now, that's it. And then of course you can save your game at any time. So I'm gonna go ahead and save now because we just got through a lot of talking. So. But anyways. So we're gonna keep going. We have something about this uh, statue we gotta take care of. And uh, to go into uh, some more stuff about the uh, the HUD menu up here, you'll notice next to the phone we have all these little icons over here. Uh, the time is actually the current time on your DS clock, or as it stands right now, my computer clock. So yeah, I'm playing this at 1.13 at uh, lunch. It's lunch. I'm currently a little hungry. Uh, the battery um, actually goes into, uh, you may have, you may remember, uh, when I talked about running away from battles, uh, there is, in fact, a penalty for running away from battles. Uh, it decreases something known as your sync rate, which I will go into later because it's not important right now. And, uh, whenever you run away from a battle, uh, one of the, one of the battery things will go away. And it'll, uh, after a few battles, it'll come back. But basically, uh, the, the lower battery things you have, the the more your sync rate will drop as you run away from fights. And uh, I'll show this off in a supplemental video, so don't worry about it right now. Uh, next to the battery, we have uh, bars. Uh, this is actually representative of how much noise are currently in the area. Um, the less bars you have, the more noise is around. So right now, because I have one bar, and if I scan, we will see, well, I can't see you right now, but there's noise here somewhere. That that green one there is actually special and also relevant to the next one. Uh, the pig icon next to the bars is uh, lit up right here. And uh, basically what that is, is um, it lets you know that there's a pig noise in the area. And pig noise are very special fights. You can only fight uh, every single pig noise once. And then they go away for the rest of the game. Even on a new game plus, you can never encounter that pig noise again. And they often have very special drops. Uh, the thing about them is they're hiding in special places. So you have to essentially scan until you find them. And then also, usually the fights themselves are very uh, special. Um, usually you have to do something really special to win. Uh, the pigs will often run away from you. And this is the pig noise right here. Uh, this one, however, is not. This one is absolutely very basic. You just have to kill it before it runs away. And it's very easy. And and it's as easy as that. That was nothing. And with that, we have our uh, our screen here. Not an option. You can read that. We got a 500 yen pin from it. And now, as you may notice, the pig noise is now gone, and it will never come back ever. So they always have uh, fixed drop rates. This one is just to get a little bit of extra money. Uh, sometimes they're, uh, they will drop pins that you can only get from fighting that one noise. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, next to the pig we have the mail icon. Um, basically it's to tell you that you have, a new, uh, you have a new message. But you only ever get missions. So because I've read it already it's not lit up anymore. And uh, that's it. So it's not very important. Uh, the eye... I'm actually not sure what this does. I think that this is just telling me that um, you have Wi-Fi, like you, because there is some Wi-Fi capabilities in this game. 
And as far as I, I think that's what that is, don't quote me on that, uh, as far as I know, it's just not very important, so. And then also, uh, if you stand in one area for long enough, you may have just noticed, uh, Shiki will get a little bubble thing over her head if I stand still long enough. It just happened while I was talking, and then if you click the bubble, you can talk to her. Got a sec? And, uh, th basically this is a hint system, it'll sort of tell you, let you know what you have to do, uh, next, so. And basically this is just, uh, rehashing of telling me what to do, so. But anyways, uh, so let's go up here. We have to find this statue. So here we have, uh, another one of those red-hooded men. So I think that we can safely say that there is a wall over here. Yep. Way to go, Shiki. Way to use your brain for thinking good with stuff. Hmm. So yeah, last time we just beat some noise and it opened right up, so... It's good, right? I mean, it did work before. Uh, Neku has a bit more of a proactive approach this time. We're just going to confront the guy head on. Let's see. Lift the statue's curse. Well, that was a little, uh, brisk. Lift the statue's curse. Yeah, yeah, you know, that that's basically the same thing as our mission. But Achiko is past the wall, and that's what Shiki and Rhyme seem convinced that, uh, the sculpture is. So what do we do? We can't get past it, but we have to get past it. Can you say Shiki? Uh, I love some lines in this game. Yeah, yeah, you know, there is a statue right there. The Moai? As I think how you say that, I have no idea. Like Easter Island, what's a Moe doing here? Mo Yai with a Y. Or Mo Yay, maybe. I don't know. I guess it is a sculpture. But it, yeah, it doesn't look very cursed. Huh. And uh, yes, from here on out, we, uh, we can actually die. We have an HP bar, as noted by the HP on the save menu. Uh, now, I will go over it in our next fight. If we go over here, there's just one guy standing here. What's, what's going on with this island? This island head. Yeah, who is that guy talking to? What's ailing you? We're not all made of stone. Is he talking to the statue head? Yeah, yeah, I guess, but... Kinda strange, isn't it? Let's see here. We gotta scan a little bit. What does this guy have to say? Oh, poor Mr. Moye, you're feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place, I can tell. People put you up on a pedestal, birds poop on you, what a life. But yeah, you may have noticed there is some noise above it, oh. above the statue. So uh, yeah, that that could be the curse. So if we erase the noise, maybe it'll happen. So we're gonna do that. Uh, but first, um, I'm actually going to uh, read some of the the people, the little people thoughts. Uh, there are lots of uh, random pedestrian thoughts that uh, you can read up on. They're all very random. They're often very humorous. And uh, basically, they're just meant to be a little extra, you know, funny things. I think there's some more people down here. We're going to see if we can find some good ones. I'll go over them eventually, uh, but they're mostly just meant for humor, so. I'm so tired of, I, like, a caviar burger. Foe, I don't even know how to pronounce the F word. I don't know, dude. A fancy burger would be kind of weird. Is there any more people down here? Any more good ones we can get? I don't know if I'd want just a big, giant, I don't know, a burger made up strange things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I, I think it's uh, pretty safe to stay in your own shoe size. But anyways, I only have pins equipped. We gotta fight uh, these two battles up here. So let's start with this one. So uh, as you may notice uh, on the right here, we have we now have an HP bar, and uh, because it's a special fight, I can't run away from it. So um, uh, essentially, remember the left screen is supposed to be the top screen. Uh, basically, how how HP works in the game is uh, if Neku gets hit, then the the bar will actually drain from the bottom going up, and if Shiki gets hit, it drains from the top going down and whenever it meets is when you die. So essentially uh, you can get hit by either of them and you you, uh, you can play poorly enough with either character and still lose and then also uh, boss uh, bosses work the same way uh, they will have a bar on the left side and whenever we get to one you will see that and it works the same way if Shiki hits them it drains from the top, Neku hits them it drains from the bottom and you can basically mix and match as you please and it'll make more sense as it happens. But anyways, we're gonna fight here. As you can see here, we have these new wolf enemies. Noise here. I'm not too crazy about them. I can't... No, I'm having trouble getting Slash to go off. I was doing it just fine before. I mean, obviously I'm just trying to show off the uh, HP bar. But, uh... I could not get it to go. I will get better at it as I go. Playing on an emulator, you kind of got to get used to it. So yeah, I did horrible. Great. And uh, your HP refills after every single fight, so you don't have to worry about you know running healing items or anything like that. You can get healing pins, uh, as as noted before. We do have the cure drink, so that is a thing. So let's get the frog with Shiki and not let this here wolf man go. No. Come on, there we go. Okay. I am still playing horrible. Great. Uh, but we did get a drop that time. I think it's, I think they dropped 100 or 500 yens. Okay, 100 yens. Oh, we got both. So I must have got dropped from the frog too and didn't notice. That's cool. Now let's see what that did. And yeah, he let the wall down for us. Yeah, now now the guy's gone, so we, we can go through now. So yeah, uh, we did free the sculpture, but uh, I, yeah, I don't I don't feel like it's the same thing. That was just to get across the wall. That's not actually our mission. Now uh, we're down to. A little bit under, a little bit over 30, a uh, little bit over 30 minutes. So 30 minutes has passed since we started. Uh, one good thing about this game is uh, you're never actually timed for the missions uh, in any way. Uh, it's always just for plot. Uh, you can take as long as you want, which is a good thing because God knows, I think uh, this game would have been much more negatively received had you actually had to run around. But yeah, what, what is this uh, Hachiko that Shiki and Ryan seem to like so much? Huh, there's a statue of a dog in the plaza, that's Hachiko. Huh, how about that? I mean, it was pretty basic, uh, you know, deducing. I, I don't really see anything special about it, Shiki. We just kind of put two and two together. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's just go. Uh, but for clearing that, we get another 500 yen pin. And we get an extra slot for Neku. Uh, this is uh, basically unlocking another one of the slots, so that's pretty cool. And that is, I believe, the only one that the game gives you. Uh, the rest you have to acquire by other means. At least if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, once you get uh, a sticker with S on it, you have it for good. You can't ever lose it. Uh, and you usually get them in special ways. You can you can buy some in shops, but for the most part, it is uh, it's there. So because we now have an extra pin slot, we're gonna go with 
Let's do pyrokinesis. Well, no, I want to show off uh, healing, so I'm going to put the gear drink on for one fight. And uh, as you may notice, uh, essentially, instead of uh, running out of, like, uses, or, like, as you use it, you just get, like, a limited number of uses of this, like, limit, it only lasts, you touch it, you tap it once, you get one use out of it, and it's done, and it never reboots, so... So that's a thing, um, and with that, I'm going to stop my restart my recorder right here. So if you guys will give me just a second.